All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to test uh, the simple slopes analysis uh, after you detect a two-way interaction of a quantitative variable by another quantitative variable uh, in a moderated multiple regression analysis. So let's say we have uh, two predictors, a number of children and number of pets, which we'll assume are reasonably continuous, and we mean centered them, meaning we created a new variable where the mean is zero. Uh, so you can watch uh, the previous video if you're not sure how to do that. And then we created the interaction term by multiplying uh, those two mean-centered variables together. That's also in the previous video. Uh, so let's run the um, moderated regression analysis. Uh, we're going to analyze regression linear. And we're going to use the mean centered pets, the mean centered number of children as two predictors, also the interaction which is simply those two mean centered variables multiplied by each other and as a dependent variable or criterion we're going to use diastolic blood pressure. Obviously um, we would do all sorts of diagnostics and data screening uh, and assumption testing before we actually run this analysis but we're just getting uh, covering uh, the simple slopes analysis in this video. So we'll go ahead and run the moderated multiple regression analysis. I'll click OK. We'll get an output file opened up and we'll see, okay, well the prediction equation is statistically significant. Let's go ahead and look at our coefficients. It looks like as number of pets increases, uh, blood pressure uh, goes down and the p-value is quite low. Uh, children does not, number of children in this equation does not appear to be significantly related, related to blood pressure uh, or diastolic blood, blood pressure. However, there does appear to be a children by pets interaction. So either the, eff the effects of children depends on the number of pets or vice versa. So what we're trying to see is how does the relationship between a focal predictor and the criterion. So here let's just say our focal predictor is number of children and the criterion is diastolic blood pressure. How does that relationship depend upon the number of pets one has? So we see that there is an interaction. The p-value isn't crazy low, but it's low enough that we may want to um, uh, probe the interaction. So to do that, what we need to do is move the zero point around. There's various methods for doing this, but probably the most common is called a simple slopes analysis, where we move the zero point around. So right now, the zero point for our moderator so let's just assume pets is our moderator. The zero point is the mean, the mean number of pets, uh, which um, we can check by going to descriptives and entering in the actual raw data for pets and children. And we see that we're looking at the, the effect of children or the relationship between children and diastolic blood pressure in this equation with the interaction term is at the mean level of pets which is for someone who has approximately two pets. Uh, so we want to go ahead and run the equation where we move the zero point of pets above um, and below the mean. So uh, for lack of another important or meaningful theoretical value we'll check one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below the mean. So we need to first compute um, pets which will be centered one standard deviation above the mean. So to do that we're going to go to transform compute variable. We're going to call this high pets will be one standard deviation above the mean. So to compute that, we'll put mean-centered, very important, that's mean-centered pets. And we're going to subtract. So, so to get one standard deviation above the mean, we're actually going to subtract the standard deviation, which is 1.65706. I want to be somewhat precise here, so I'll just copy that. And then we'll create that variable with high pets. Now we're also going to need to create the interaction term. So we have to recompute the interaction term. So this is going to be high pets 
times uh, centered children. So to compute that, we're going to take high pets times centered children. So that'll be our interaction term for this uh, equation, which will test the, the effect of children at one standard deviation above the mean for pets. So we click OK, and now we're ready to run that portion of the simple slopes analysis. We'll go to Analyze, Regression, Linear. I'm just going to click Reset to clear that out. Our criterion is diastolic blood pressure. We want to have centered children in the equation. We want to have high pets because we're looking one standard deviation above the mean for pets. The, the effect of children on diastolic blood pressure at one standard deviation above the mean for pets. But we also do need to keep the interaction term in there. So go ahead and run that regression analysis. We should notice that nothing has changed in terms of the model statistics. The model statistics should be identical as the analysis we ran earlier which we'll just double check and indeed they are. So the model statistics shouldn't change. If they do, you've done something wrong. Uh, actually, the only thing that should change is the coefficient for uh, our focal predictor, which here we've decided is children. So we see when, when children, uh, the relationship between children and diastolic blood pressure is essentially not there at high level of pets. So the, the, the p-value is quite high and the coefficient is inverse but nonetheless it's, it's not statistically significant by any standard. So we see when you have a lot of pets the relationship between number of children and diastolic blood pressure is not there. When we were looking earlier at mean number of pets we saw that the relationship was also not there. So let's see what happens if we look one standard deviation below the mean for pets. So to do that we have to create a new variable. So we'll go to create below pets and low pets will be mean centered pets plus we want to go low we're going to add the standard deviation which we had from before, and we create that variable, which is low pets, and now we have to create the interaction term. So the interaction term we'll call low pets by children. So we want to have in the interaction term low pets multiplied by mean centered children. And then we'll click OK, and now we have all of the predictors we need to run the analysis looking at the relationship between children and diastolic blood pressure at one standard deviation below the mean for pets. So we'll go to Analyze, Regression, Linear. I'll clear everything again. Put diastolic blood pressure as the criterion. We'll put centered children as one of the predictors. Low pets as another predictor and the low pets by, by centered children interaction as the third predictor and we'll run the analysis and we note the model statistics once again are the same we still have a significant equation we're predicting about 20 percent of the variance in blood pressure uh, you can tell these are fake data because I don't think these variables would predict that much of the variance in blood pressure but nonetheless now we see the relationship between children and blood pressure when you don't have pets in the equation, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't mean literally they're not in the equation, I mean when someone doesn't have many pets, uh, so when pets are one standard deviation uh, below the mean, uh, we see that now there is a positive and statistically significant relationship between number of children and diastolic blood pressure. So to sum up this analysis, we saw that at the mean level of pets, the relationship between children and diastolic blood pressure was pretty much not there. At high level of pets, the relationship between children and blood pressure was pretty much not there. Yet when someone had a low number of pets, uh, one standard deviation below the mean, then we saw that the relationship 
between children and blood pressure was positive and statistically significant. So that's the nature of the interaction. We could have looked at it the other way. We could have we could have used pets as the focal predictor and then centered children above and below the mean uh, to see how the relationship between pets and blood pressure um, was influenced by the number of children. Uh, so hopefully that has been uh, helpful for your understanding of how to conduct a simple slopes analysis uh, in a moderated multiple regression analysis when there are two quantitative variables and we're testing or probing a two-way interaction. I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did.